<laughs> Welcome back. Sorry, Gary's making me laugh. Well, 7-Eleven is one of the biggest convenience stores across the country, but it has plenty of competition. But as this clip in the WND vault shows us, that store took that competition with 7-Eleven to a totally different level. Check it out. On this side of the street, 7-Eleven, the convenience store giant. On the other side, 612, the convenience contender. That's right, two quick shops on one corner. Looks like we've got a case of dueling drive ups. In 1984, Armenian born Eris Mardurisian said he tried to open his own 7 Eleven, but they said no. So he opened up his own version of 7 Eleven and called it 612. Take that, 7-Eleven. If they feel that they're competing with them, it's okay. I'm, I'm enjoying that because a small guy like me can compete with mm -hmm. a big company like that. That's right. It's pretty good. And nothing gets you revving like 7-Eleven, right? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Other similarities include the fact that both stores have essentially the same logo. They share the same corner, and they sell the same stuff. There's another similarity, though. If you add up the store names, 612 and 711, <laughs> they both add up to 18. Unfortunately, that added up to trouble for Eris. 711 threatened to sue unless he dropped the words Quick Mart. So he did. Now both are happy in this corporate version of Davy and Goliath. In the meantime, Eris plans to open more 612 stores across the street for more 7-Elevens, maybe even coast to coast. Uh, you fight, and you're not going to just uh, roll over and play dead because a big company or a rich company trying to force you out of market. And to think, the 612 store started out with just one simple idea, all based on groceries. They said, let us put our heads together and try to cream the competition. Of course, that drove 7-Eleven bananas. They started whining because they thought 612 had raided their logo. Now, both stores are just trying to play catch up. In Washington, this is Steve Ducey for NBC News. That was Steve Ducey a long <laughs> time before Fox. I mean, that, you know, that that's interesting. Funny. I didn't recognize him at first. That is funny. Yeah. I'm sitting there, well, we know how it turned out for 612, but because um, right. I'd never even heard of a 6. I think that's hilarious. It, no. I was asking Gary, watching the package, had he ever seen the movie Coming to America with Eddie Murphy? Yeah. And that's exactly what they did, because, like, yeah. McDowell's and McDonald's. Right. They just changed it a little bit, you know, to, for fun with the movie, fast food, that kind of thing. Yeah. But, but that, I, I did not realize that that was Steve Ducey. And what a great stand-up he did. Did, that was the bananas and the ketchup. That was that was if you if wow. you see me do it, you d you didn't see it. That was that was genius. Right. That was great. I guess yeah. that's why he's. And you Steve can see Ducey. right. You can see as a local reporter why he kind of caught on and ended up with the network. So no, that was awesome. Yeah. I love it. A 